I'm logged into my Google account and I want to access Google Sites. So I'm going to click on the Waffle app here and I'm going to find Google Sites. So on the your list of most frequently used apps is here and then we can click on more and we can see sometimes we can see some other things in here and if you still can't see sites we can click on even more from Google and we get all this and I'm going to scroll all the way down I know where my sites is I'm going to click on here so right down here see all products we've got to and right down here this blue icon here is sites I'm going to click on that and it opens up my sites and this shows me all the sites that I am uh, I, I currently create so you might have or manage you you might have one as you can see I've got plenty here so to actually edit your website make sure that you click on the sites icon um, and then once you've done that um, click on the uh, site that you want to manage so here I am in my Google sites again I'm going to click on one of my untitled sites here I'm going to click on this one here to open it up and here we can see here's a blank site it says your page title untitled site so I'm going to give my site a name um, so I'm going to call this uh, and then I'm going to change the page title so um, as you can see as I click on each thing in the on the site here I can um, edit it and you get a little sub menu pops up so I'm just going to call this home page there we go and we can change the look and feel of that by changing this from heading to um, subheading so obviously on the main main title needs to be a title um, we can change the header type this is pretty dark we've got two ways of doing this we can change the themes now there are five simple is it five yeah six simple themes here that you can click on I've chosen simple that's the default one you can choose the font style it's light or heavy see how it changes things I think it's a bit clumpy so I go for light um, you can change the color so you can see how that changes things so if I choose a color in here um, I can scroll this around and it will change the look and feel of the color of my page so you can do some editing over here in themes but also if you click on the header we can change the look and feel of this as well so I'm going to select an image um, Google has a range of things in here for you to choose from or you can search by um, using Google search and search Google images so I'm just going to choose uh, let me think so I'm going to choose this picture here click select there we go and I've now chosen this picture now look what happens if I change the header type um, I can change the header type on here if I make it a large banner you get more of the picture but also more of the screen so I choose the small banner there we go now to add content what we can do here is we can come to insert over here and we can use um, this drag and drop options over here but let's have a look and see first of all um, we wanted to add a bit more of a structure to this website so I'm going to add a new page first thing I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here and the bottom left right hand corner and I'm going to click on add a new page give your page a, t a name so I'm going to call this uh, let's call it term one now as you start creating its uh, new pages can you see how now we've got this navigation bar becomes active and the home page is um, has come up and term one's being created in the style that we wanted to and term one's over here so let's say for example you wanted to have a sub page below term one we can click on the home page uh, create a page icon here and I'm going to call this literacy and click done and by default it will be that same style that we've already looked at and the on the side here it comes up with the um, list and so now we've got term one and literacy but I actually want literacy to be under term one so to do, to do that I can click on my literacy page and I can click and drag it so as it sits over the top of term one like that so the term one goes blue and let go and now it's a sub page and so it's gone from the navigation bar here but it's a sub page of term one there we go so if I now click on here I've now got literacy and numeracy that's what I wanted okay that's pages so 
if I make a mistake, I can drag that out and say, if I wanted numeracy to be a hits page of all of its own, I can just drag it all the way up to home. In fact, I can just drag it so it's between home and another page, and then numeracy has its own page up here. Again, if that's a mistake and you want it back into term one, you just drag numeracy into, so term one's highlighted all the way around, and it will be a sub page again. Okay, and just to show how to make numeracy a sub page of literacy, you drag it over that. And so you have term one, and you see on literacy you've got a new sub page here. Again, we don't want that, we want it to be in term one. So that's how you move pages around and navigate them. So let's come back to home. So here I am back on my home page again, and now we're going to look at how to add content. Now there's several ways of actually adding content to a Google site. The first thing to note is if you double click, you get this sub, um, this, this button come up. I mean, there, there's the different ways that we can um, add content. So let's create, just create a text box, click on text, and it creates this movable block which you can see with these little drag handles here I can move things around so it doesn't really matter where these things get created or if they get created in the wrong place they're very easy to move so let's let's make this a heading so let's talk about this let's talk about let's just call it heading and so I'm going to change that from normal text to heading and then on the right hand left hand side here you can see that there's some options I can delete it I can duplicate it, which is very useful later on, and I can um, organize things. So I'm going to use the emphasis option. Remember I said green as my title, so um, I actually don't like that green, so I'm going to come back to my themes here, and I'm going to come back to simple. I quite like this version here. Um, and what we can see here is that's now my heading. So if it's not big enough, I want to um, make it a title. That's good. And I've got these options in here. I can add a link if I wanted to. I can change the layout. I can put it in the center. So you've got very simple tools to actually make this um, quite easy to add and manipulate your page. So let's have a look at something else. I'm going to hit the double tap again. and I'm going to add some text again. And this time I'm just going to put some text in. So I'm just going to just bang the keyboard. But with the, I've got these drag bars now, I can move these around and in the background you can see there's these column sort of um, and gutters so we can actually, if we wanted to, make these two columns. So I double click again, there's my text and now I can add some more text or I can add an image. So let's add an image and let's uh, search for... Um, Let's take this picture here, click select. Now I'm adding this picture to my block of text here and I can resize it, move things around. So I can put this underneath if I wanted to. I can I put it, actually put it inside, which is a bit of a pain. So I'm going to click on the picture and move it out. So I want to put it over here to the right. I'm going to drag the text out now. So now, can you see how I can move things around? I can, I can move everything within this block here. Um, so I can continue editing my text in here. It's all very simple and very straightforward. And again, just to, I'll, I'll just make another text box down here. Let's add something else, another text box. Let's um, add some content from here. So let's... Um, and I want to make this a heading. And again, it keeps in theme. I can add more content and decide I want this time I want to add a picture. So I'm going to double tap inside my text box. I'm going to select an image and I'm going to add something like so the picture of that waterfall that will do. So that's how I'm getting information and text from the internet very simple and very straightforward. Now let's look at adding content from your Google Drive. So I can, well, let's, let's just first of all let me show you how easy it is to move this stuff around. Let's just drag this to here. So let's just say for example I put this the wrong way around, I wanted to change positions here, so I can just, these little drag bar over here, I can click on this, I can move it around. So it's very simple to move content 
however I want to move it around. So next we're going to look at how to get stuff from Google Drive. The most important and most powerful thing as far as I'm concerned about this new Google Sites is its ability to inter, um, interact or work with um, Google Drive. So if we use the insert tab over here we can see we've not only have we got the same options that we had in that quick call um, a button that we could double click in space down here we've got other components like we can add dividers and all that kind of stuff you can play about with that if you wanted to but what I really like is the ability to embed YouTube videos very easily you can embed Docs directly or straight from Google Drive so let's just um, add some content now from Google Drive and I'm going to add a slideshow that I've made and what you can see here is you've got my drive shared with me recent and you can just scroll through you recognize all of these options here um, and I'm going to click on recent and you'll see my recent documents in here um, so I'm going to um, click on this Google slide I've made here about summarizing a story so it's a great tool for using um, with students so you can actually um, upload content so I'm going to click on Smart uh, Story here, click on Insert, and what it does is it puts the uh, Google slide directly, providing you shared it with them, into your um, Google site. And again, you've got the same options, you can move it around, you can um, double tap, you can add some text, you can make things bigger if you wish to, so we can click on this, we can drag it make it bigger and it just automatically resizes things click on this resizes this um, and so it's very simple and very easy for you to add content from your own Google Drive um, from your own docs etc etc and finally let's have a quick look at YouTube if you want to add a YouTube video okay so here's a tutorial on how to use Google Slides um, I'm going to use click on this one here click select, it's grabbed my video and it's going to insert it as a YouTube video into this site here, looking really good. And so, very simply, that's how you create um, and organize and edit the layout of a website using Google Sites. If you wanted to move things around, it's very simple for you to do that. As you can see, just drag things around, very simple. Um, and the last thing you need to know is you need to publish it. At the moment, everything I've done is completely invisible to anybody else except me. Finally, to publish it, I need to click on Publish. So, uh, publish to the web, give it a uh, web address. Okay, YouTube tutorial. Oh, the site name contains forbidden or reserved words. Okay, so I'll just call this, let's call it something else. That's all good. Who can view my site? Anyone can manage. Click publish. Now that site is now going live to the internet and every time you make an update, any update to your uh, Google site, you have to click the publish button. But you'll notice that your website's already been published. So you'll have this little drop down box at the end of it. So again, once you've made any changes, those changes aren't live until you publish. So you have to click publish every time, any changes, but also to see what the website looks like to somebody who's um, on uh, look at getting the public view, click on the drop down list here and click on the view published site. And here we go, this is what the site looks like to a um, person who is on the internet but can't edit your page. Now the thing you need to know about Google Sites is, is they are adaptive. So if we look at this as if it was, uh, and resize it as if this was a browser for a um, phone, that's what your page would look like in terms of, so it stacks it. So it, it's what you see is, is adaptive. It fits and changes to the screen size. So can you see how my picture, so if I'm, this is about a size of a tablet, this is what it might look like on a tablet. So you can see my picture has been kind of scrunched up. Um, and if we look at something, so let's look, we look at it on a tablet, but in um, portrait mode, again, we see we get everything. So it's a completely adaptive website. It's a really good thing. So it means that you, your 
um, your audience, doesn't matter what device they're on, Google will reshape your website and move things around to ensure that everybody can see what is, is needed to be seen. And so that really concludes how to create or manage or add content to your Google site. Um, and if you have any questions, please do ask in the comments.